Hi, Ramesh Balakrishnan here with the Cisco HTTS Stack Collaboration Team. In this video, I want to show you the CUCM cluster upgrade from 12.5.1 SU5 to 15 SU1 version using data export and import feature. Here, the CUCM cluster has two nodes, one publisher and one subscriber. Your source cluster version must be released 10.5 or higher. If your source cluster version is not released 12.5.1 SU5 or higher, you must install the latest version of the Cisco CM.data export COP file on each node of the source CUCM cluster. Steps included for CUCM cluster upgrade using data export and import feature. Export data from the source cluster node to the SFTP server. Shut down the source cluster nodes. Install new publisher and subscriber using the exported data. Source cluster version is 12.51 SU5. Log into the command line interface of the CUCM publisher and run the command util system upgrade data export initiate. Provide the SFTP server's IP address and login credentials. Then give the destination publisher's host name and the IP address. Here I'm using the same host name and IP address of the source publisher. Run the command util system upgrade data export status for checking whether the data export process is completed or not. In the SFTP server, a new folder is automatically created with a name like cluster-publisher IP address and the exported data is downloaded into it. After export is done for the publisher, the status shows completed from the output of the command util system upgrade data export status. Follow the same steps for exporting the data from the subscriber node. In the same folder location of the SFTP server, the subscriber exported data exists. After export is done for the subscriber, the status shows completed from the output of the command util system upgrade data export status. Shut down the source clusters publisher and subscriber by running the command utils system shutdown. Following steps will show you how to import the exported data into a newly built 15 SU1 CUCM cluster. Build a virtual machine for the publisher using appropriate OVA template. Mount 15 SU1 version bootable image to the virtual machine and turn on the VM. Press OK button after the media check is success. Choose Cisco Unified Communication Manager and click the OK button. Press Yes button to proceed with the installation of 15 SU1 version. Click the Import button in the Platform Installation Wizard. Click OK button in Import Upgrade Configuration Information. Choose Appropriate Time Zone and then click the OK button. Click the Continue button in the Auto Negotiation Configuration. Click the No button to have the default value in MTU configuration. Press the No button under the DHCP configuration. Provide the host name, IP address, IP mask and gateway address for the publisher and then press the OK button. Click the S button under the DNS client configuration. Provide the primary DNS server IP address and domain and then click the OK button. Provide the SFTP server's IP, login credentials and directory where you have exported data of the source cluster and then press the OK button. Provide the certificate information and click the OK button. Press the S button under first node configuration. Provide the NTP server's IP and then click the Proceed button. Click the No button for the SMTP host configuration. 
However, if you want to configure SMTP, then press Yes button and configure the SMTP host. Choose appropriate option under Smart Call Home Enable page and click the OK button. Click the OK button under Platform Configuration Confirmation page to proceed with installation. After a few minutes, the installation of Publisher is finished using the Import feature. We have to follow the similar steps for installing the new subscriber. Build a virtual machine for the subscriber using appropriate OVA template. Mount 15SU1 version bootable image to the virtual machine and turn on the VM. Press OK button after the media check is success. Choose Cisco Unified Communication Manager and click the OK button. Press Yes button to proceed with installation of 15SU1 version. Click the Import button in the Platform Installation Wizard. Click OK button in Import Upgrade Configuration Information. Choose Appropriate Time Zone and then click the OK button. Click the Continue button in the Auto Negotiation Configuration. Click the No button to have the default value in MTU configuration. Press the No button under the DHCP configuration. Provide the host name, IP address, IP mask and gateway address for the subscriber server and then press the OK button. Click the S button under the DNS client configuration. Provide the primary DNS and domain and then click the OK button. Provide the SFTP server's IP, login credentials and directory where we have the exported data of the source cluster and then press the OK button. Provide the certificate information and click the OK button. Press the No button under first node configuration. Press OK button on the first node configuration page. Click on the No button under Network Connectivity Test Configuration page. Provide the publisher's host name and IP address in First Node Access Configuration page and click the OK button. The security password is auto-populated via the imported data in this page. Click the No button for SMTP host configuration. If you want to configure SMTP, then press Yes button and configure the SMTP host. Click the OK button under Platform Configuration Confirmation page to proceed with installation. After a few minutes, the installation of subscriber is successful using import feature. After successful installation of the publisher and subscriber, run the commands for validation. Log in to the command line interface of the publisher. Show myself. Show version active. Utils DB replication runtime state. Ensure the DB replication is good for the cluster. File view install system history.log. From system history.log, we will see access for import during install 12.51 SU5 to 15 SU1. We can confirm the same on the subscriber node. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you for watching.